Today we're going to review and put together a clam nanook thermal. I bought this at Cabela's for uh I think it was four ninety nine. I think it was four fifty if you didn't want the insulated one, but I did, so four ninety nine. So stay tuned. First take out all the parts and you'll notice they're all labeled with a number, which makes it very convenient to do. Next you're going to want to install the chair support bar, which is a very tight fit. Just stretch it out as much as you can and bolt it in. Next you need to install the left and right hand brackets. Um, make sure they're facing the right way. Uh, just follow the, follow the diagram in uh, your instructions. Install the tube cap spacers in the straight tubes before you put them on. Next, you are going to install the straight poles um, into the left and right hand brackets. Make sure that you are putting these on correctly. I had to readjust them later because I put them on the wrong side. Make sure the hole is facing the inside of your shanty sled. Next, install your handles to the hoop poles. Make sure the handle part is facing the inside. Once your handles are on, you can connect them to your straight poles that are already connected to your sled. And once you have all of them up, put your middle support bar in. Make sure you get comfortable when you're putting the seat assembly together. There's a lot of screws and little parts. Um, it gets tedious. So, um, and also I didn't take, you know, two straight hours. I just did it in my spare time. I wasn't in any hurry. The ice was too thin to go fishing anyway. So I just took my time assembling it. The seats are very high quality. And right here you'll see I am putting the, the storage in on the bottom. Make sure that when you're doing the storage that you don't screw the last two in until it's assembled on the bar here. They fit in pretty easily as you can tell right here. Pretty nice. We're almost at the home home stretch. Now it's time to put the tent on. There's no easy way to do this. Just kind of slide it over and um yeah just work it a little bit keep the poles up make sure you do not put the last pole on the floor pole until the tent is up because you're going to slide that through so this is what i decided to do with my molding um 10 15 minutes of being in the tub and some hot water is really gonna make your life a heck of a lot easier um, I can already tell it's been in here for about 10 minutes and uh, it's really flexible now so yeah if you didn't do this they're hard especially working in the cold so soak it for a good 15 minutes before you try to put it on your shanty this is the part that everyone thinks is the hardest. Find the center of the molding, pull down your tent, and just pop it on. I didn't seem to have any trouble with it. Uh, when you let it sit in hot water for 15 minutes, the molding's pretty easy to work with. So pull it tight, make sure there's no wrinkles, and work the corners. The, the corners are the hardest part. Just kind of muscle them. When you think that you have the molding 
where you want it to be. Don't throw any screws in it yet. You're going to want to check to see if the front, the bottom bar right here is touching the ground when you sit in it. Sometimes it'll have a gap. It looks right here that I'm looking pretty good. Um, once you think you're pretty good, then you need to cut off the extra molding. It says to measure 8 inches from your brackets, but it's pretty noticeable where you should cut it. So I just used some scissors to cut it like this. Put it on snug. Then you can throw screws in about every 6 to 8 inches. Make sure you lift up on the molding. So this is what the clam nanook thermal looks like all set up. I'm very happy with what it looks like. It was um, pretty simple to set up. Probably took me uh, all together two hours. I, uh, I didn't take two hours straight to put it together. I just put it together whenever I had time. Um, so yeah, two hours. The hardest part was probably adjusting the brackets for the different heights because when you flip it back, um, I'll show you. When you flip it backwards, These brackets right here, this, the last pole won't go down all the way. If you have this, the second one, all the way up, so you got to put that halfway down so this has room to fall down completely, or else it won't go down all the way, which is nice if you're trying to block the wind, but that's not what I'm trying to do um, right now. So yeah, this is what it looks like. The two sliding seats, they go this way, back and forth, and they also go, they go left to right, but not that easy. Um, see it like that. There we go. So you can move them left to right. Um, front to back which is really nice they're really comfortable a lot of cushion um, also another thing I like is I love these compartments down here you can put your you know um, flashlight or LED light or bait or sunflower seeds down there which I do um, yeah so or your hooks or whatever yeah I like it um, the materials pretty thick I got the thermal one, um, supposed to be 25 degrees warmer in these. Um, let's take a look inside. Now one thing I love about it are all these windows. It's got uh, a window here, 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 and then two, or one in the front. Um, Pretty spacious. I have a I have a 30 oh what is it? I think it's a 36 inch pole. And uh, I have plenty of room. Now if I decided to take this chair out and fish this way, I mean that'd be ideal, but I also have a wife that loves the fish so taking that seat out is very difficult um, I love the the air vents that we have in each corner they just come down like that go back up um, and also the clips make it very easy to put it down when you're ready. Got some storage here, a little net. Um, oh, let's see. What else? Um, I love how your divider pole just comes off 
like this, stick it in the hole, and pull up, and then it connects right there. And then when you're done with it, you just snap it back on, just like that. Pretty easy to do. Um, another cool thing about the Nanook Thermal is I love the back door right here and then when you open it it's got some velcro to stick on in case you want to keep it open and that's probably how I'll get in and out of it and then uh, use the front door like this person can use that door and this person can use the back door um, yeah other than that I think it's well worth the money. I'm about to go on a, a fishing tournament Saturday. I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know how it works. Um, the weather stripping, not as, not as hard as everyone says it was online. Um, just make sure that you soak it for 15 minutes and the corners, just muscle the corners in and you're good. Other than that,